city of Detroit. I often think you want to rebuild a neighborhood. You're a lot better off starting with stuff people eat and drink. I mean, it's not rocket science. You know, if you, you, movie theater's fine, baseball stadium's great, but where people really want to go is to find things to eat and drink. If you look at Detroit, and it's, it's really interesting to me that if you want to look at where the traffic jams come in Detroit, they certainly come around certain sporting events, and that's great. And the Tigers being good is an important thing, and, and sports bubbling creates community pride. But the Eastern Market on Saturday morning, you know, we're sitting right at the outskirts of Eastern Market, this great market which b built up around the food distribution system of Detroit. It's sort of amazing watching what's happened in, in Corktown with Slows and the coffee shop. There's so much of the urban fabric that's left. And, and really, if you look at the course, so many great buildings are left. And so much of this texture, and, and really, from an urban planning or architecture point of view, all it takes is some patching and stitching to infill the gaps. The great Jane Jacobs said it best. New ideas require old buildings. Look around. What old buildings provide is an authentic environment, a walkable community, and cheap, affordable, reconfigurable space where people can make new stuff. They can make their art, they can develop their company, they can make a new technological innovation. And I think, I think the seeds, not only, I think Detroit is way past its tipping point, it is coming back. And you can see how that's captivated national interest. It, it's not just, and it's important that people from Detroit rebuild their city, but you can see it attracting creative people, energetic people, entrepreneurial people, like the people who use this space, this building. It's attracting them from all over the country and all over the world because they see the potential in reviving, being part of, not reviving, being part of the rebirth, the revival of a great American industrial city. It gives you a good feeling, I mean, being in here, it gives you a good feeling that something important is in the world. You know, it's real, it's not fake, it's not generic, it's not consumeristic. It just gives you a sense that we live in a good time. You know, when so many economic developers think of business, they think of, well, we have to lure another auto parts making plant. We have to lure a call center where people take orders for Target or something over the phone. You know, business is what people do. It's the way they make their art, it's the way they make their videos, it's the way they write, it's the way they do their architecture, it's the way they make, build their restaurant. It's very much this small-scale organic development. So I think that's what rebuilding Detroit is about. And making it, and maybe the single best thing to do is just make space available to help the process of making cheap. I mean, that's, when we look at the history of cities, having cheap, affordable, reconfigurable, reconfigurable, space that can be combined and recombined close to other space. That's what drives development through all of human history. This isn't rocket science. So I think those are the things that, that the community can do. And, and I shouldn't say could, it's being done.